Don't forget to like and share. Drop your comment. And if you have not subscribed, please do and click the bell then select all so that you will get all notification from this channel. Who is that? You can come in. So, Miss Clara, what did you say happened? Sir, there is a boy in class 5 that violate the school rule. Who, again? His name is Tosin, sir. Tosin? Is that not Tosin Adijinmi again? Yes, sir. The same Tosin that is defending Jesus during Islamic religion studies class? Yes, sir. So, what is it this time? Sir, according to your new rule yesterday, that no one should bring Bible to the school again. But, today, I caught Tosin with Bible, not only that, he was teaching another student about what is written in the Bible. What? You mean he violated a rule that is not even up to 24 hours? Yes, sir. Okay. Give me one minute. I am coming to stop that nonsense. So, Tosin, is it true that you bring Bible to the school? Yes, sir. But, I just said it yesterday that no one should bring Bible to the school anymore. Didn't you know? I know, but... I must obey God rather than men. What do you mean? Because, the reason why I came to this school is not to learn only, but also to do the work of my father which is in heaven. You mean your father is dead? No, I am not talking about my biological father, but God who created me, and even you sir. You said even me. I don't even have time for this rubbish. What I will tell you is that, you should never bring Bible to this school again, and that is final if you still want to stay in this school. My husband, why are you angry? One of my students made me angry. I have told them not to bring Bible to school again, but Tosin Naughty Jimmy disobeyed. But do you know that? That boy did nothing wrong, because the rule you made is against the will of God for his life. That is why he disobeyed man and obeyed God. You mean the boy is right? Yes. Okay, get down from my car. Nonsense. You know I have been telling you before, that Jesus love you. You still have mouth to talk. What rubbish. You will learn your lesson now. I need to suffer because of Jesus, and this little boy. Oh. Lord, thank you for this grace. Will you also obey man rather than God? You should obey anyone above you, but if their command is against the will of God, you need to disobey them and obey God. Acts 5.29 says, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. And, according to Romans chapter 2 verses 8 and 9, those that do not obey the truth, but unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish is upon them. Even if it is your parent, now, because the Bible says, that you should honor your thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. But, remember Hephaestus 6, 1 which says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. This means if your parents' command is against God's command, you should disagree. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and share. Drop your comment. And if you have not subscribed, please do, and click the bell then select all so that you will get all notification from this channel. Once we drop new content, YouTube will let you know. Thank you. God bless you. And don't forget that. Jesus loves you.